Okay, we're going to have a look at how we set up our little quad, the 250 that I've got plugged in at the moment, into uh, getting those um, those tight. Uh, the board's a 32-bit board, so what we do is we're running that with this um, uh, this program called Base Flight Configurator. So we connect to it, and up here it tells us what we've got so it's uh, looking there it's got uh, firmware multi Wii 2.3 this tells you what sensors we've got it's only a standard board this tells you the um, the rotation and if you have a look if I move that around you can see left right back front top so it's basically all good to go um, straightforward calibrate okay um, you can reset your board from settings from go to woe so it's all back to default you can back up and restore okay so this is all self-explanatory you can have a look in here yourself what that does you go to PID tuning now this is the PIDs I don't touch anything in here for me I go up and I make the pitch and roll uh, rate um, we'll take that up to point and the yaw rate, so the spin rate, we'll take that up. And then we'll we'll do a save on that. Okay. Now we go to the receiver. Okay, so here, don't touch anything here. The RC rate, we take that up to 1.6. That'll make it super slippery. And we take the expo rate down to 0.5 and that'll straighten out that line a bit and make it a little bit more uh, reactive so that's basically it. you save there your auxiliaries now so I fly in horizon so oh, we'll fly there and we'll use the same switch to arm it so that's all saved there now so there your auxiliaries that's how you do that so what it means now, the first, I'm always in horizon, first click, it'll be armed, second click, if I accidentally hit it, it'll be, be armed as well. So I could turn that off and be in acro if I wanted to, but anyway, that's how you do that. Servos and GPS doesn't do anything, motor test does. Now what you can do with motor test, this is a cool little feature of this, you can click the box there and if I had a battery plugged in with it, I could start each motor and check for direction. Now, the good part about this 32-bit board and this base flight configurator is that you can connect your LiPo in with it while it's connected to the computer so you can do all this live you can have it all plugged in all good to go you can go back here see what your receiver is doing make sure everything works come to your motor test over here click that and then you can run them all up if you want you can you can use the radio and see make sure you're getting the right settings here now the good part about this, this is how you calibrate your ESCs. Okay, so have your battery disconnected, click that on, turn that up to full, power up your quad with the uh, with the lipo. You'll hear the tune of the ESCs. Flick that down. You'll hear the next tune. Then disconnect your lipo, and that's about as hard as it gets to um, to calibrate your ESCs. Your raw sensor data. Well, that speaks for itself. And of course, you go into here now. This is the fun part. So, if you go into um, feature list, you get all the lists of what all the features you can get. So, you can do PPM, VBAT, which is your voltage for your battery, in flight accelerometer calibration, speaks for itself. Serial RX, I don't know what that means. Motor stop, that speaks for itself. Servo tilt is for your camera, soft serial, I don't know what that means. Your LED ring is your light ring that you can put on these. Your GPS speaks for itself, fail safe. Your sonar, telemetry, and power meter. Your Vario, which is your um, your hub for your free sky unit, where you can plug in all sorts of things, and 3D. Now, Madge asked me how did I set my copter up for 3D. Uh, with that's why these are quite a uh, common board for 3D flying. It's a simple matter of uh, feature 3D. Okay, feature motor stop. Okay, that's all you need to do to turn things on and off.
feature minus 3D is now turned off. Okay, so if you go um, if you go help, you get all the available things, all the all the commands. So your auxiliary names, you can rename those. Your C mix, um, they're your custom mixes for something like your V tails and that default reset you can do that you can do a dump of the of the whole all the settings uh, exit which saves as well feature list we just looked at GPS um, pass through um, or you can look that up help list everything mapping of the RC channel so if we go map you can see that the mapping at the moment is aileron uh, elevator, throttle, rudder, and then auxiliary one, two, three, four. I can change that. I can say map, uh, throttle, rudder, uh, elevator, aileron one, two, three, four. Just now reset and, now and changed my um, my settings for my radio. So we'll go back to what we were before. Map, um, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder one, two, three, and four, and we're back to where we started from. Okay, so the other thing that we can do is um, is if you just punch in feature, it tells you what you've got selected. So V bat and motor stop. Okay, so by clicking out of that, we'll now um, leave this and save and reboot it. So okay, so basically that's about as hard as it gets, people. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>